Hi everyone, welcome back. It's my K Swedish Whiskey Girl. And today we're gonna try a whiskey that I am really intrigued by and I have never tried before. I think, not from memory anyways. This is Sleen, Irish whiskey. And where do I start? <laughs> so this is at 40%. It retails around 25 pounds. It has been matured in a triple cask. In triple casks? In three different casks, um, virgin oak, seasoned Tennessee whiskey casks, and sherry casks. And th I've seen this around, but I had a bit, the mi bit of a misconception about it because I saw it and I was like, "Oh, it's one of those fairly affordable Irish whiskies um, that come out of one of the two big Irish distilleries." Um, but I was wrong. And I don't know, it was just one of those that you like kind of see them pass by and you're like, oh, there's other things that I'm more in intrigued by and I'm more interested by. Um, or for full disclosure, this was a gifted bottle as well. Um, they are now owned by Brown Foreman and they are their own distillery. So Slane Distillery is located by the Slane Castle. And the more, when I was gonna do this review, I started reading up on them and find myself really intrigued by them. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Ireland is an interesting whiskey country. They have so much whiskey history and I'm sure you've tried whiskey from one of the two big ones, which if you find a lot of Irish whiskey, a lot of that whiskey comes from those two, just that they've sold whiskey and they bottled them other, under other names or blended them and so stuff like that, which is totally fine because good whiskey, but I think it's really interesting to see these new Irish distilleries that are popping up and this is one of them. And like I said, it's located by the castle which uh, is known for having like rock concerts and I mean, that's quite cool. I'm not a, much of a rock person myself, I'm more of a jazz, old timey, 50s music kind of person. But I mean, quite cool to have a whiskey distillery and then you have a castle right next door where you can like put on big concerts and like for people that love rock, I can imagine that being totally awesome. But also one of the founders uh, from the area where Slane is located, he used to work as a brand ambassador for one of the bigger companies and then with the help of some others started up this distillery, which I think is interesting. I would love to go, it looks like it's a stunning location and like I still haven't been to Ireland, I would love to go. Um, especially because there's so much good whiskey. But I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm actually gonna try it um, because I have not done that yet. Uh, so let's start by having a look on the nose. <laughs> First impressions is like a marzipani vanilla ice cream green whiskey. And you know how much I love that. We'll go in again. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is on the nose right now for me. <sighs> yeah, interesting. And now I'm trying to think, I wonder how much of that is coming from the sherry cast, how much is coming from the ex bourbon, how much is coming from the virginal casks. Um, it's an interesting nose, because even though it has those things that I really like, especially when it knows a green whiskey, and that pops up straight away. I trying to see find things underneath it, but it's those kind of three that are like in a golden little trio that sit in there. But yeah, like a dessert, like vanilla ice cream with a bit of morse pan and if you've noticed a sweet green whiskey that is very unoffensive, very smooth, that's what I'm getting on the nose of this. And maybe a tiny little bit of like roasted or like like, uh, 
like um, <laughs> caramel, like what's it called? Chocolate chip cookies, <clears throat> but also a bit of vine gum. Like it has that kind of candied note, almost like caramelized sugar in it. But let's have a little taste, Slangeva. Does feel quite, uh, <clears throat> can't speak today. Uh, inoffensive on the palate as well, it's quite smooth. But it does have this kind of, like it, it gives me the impression of being, like all the flavors are like, <clears throat> shoulder by shoulder in this little kind of lump. <clears throat> Jesus. Um, instead of some whiskies, especially if you try, I'm gonna compare it to like a, really fruity space side whiskey. They feel very open, like they're bursting out and they're really like open in their character. This one feels a little bit more like tight together and like the flavors stick together, but there's nothing that kind of runs away bursting outwards. It does have quite a strong wood character, but without it being too tanniny or rough. Like it's a very, there's the wood flavor is there, but the texture that you sometimes get, especially with like younger whiskies or a lot that use virgin oak, still feels very smooth around the edges. It does have a little bit of that kind of um, cookie, cookiness about it. It also has <clears throat> a little bit more of a robust I see, like it has slightly wider shoulders, slightly more robust than some other Irish whiskies I've tried. That sometimes tend to be very light, especially the blended ones. I don't know if I said, but this is a blend of both malt and grain whiskies, which is why it's not very surprising that I'm getting those grain notes coming through, um, which are quite nice. But it's also. I was going to have a guess at the malt grain content, but I'm not sure. Because on one side, on one hand, <laughs> um, it does have that kind of grain sweetness and it has that lovely character on the nose as well, which I really enjoy. But then it does have a bit of that robustness of a malt. I mean, I would say quite a nice balance between the two. But I'm also a little bit biased towards green whiskey, so I'd love to hear your thoughts if you have tried this. Do you think it's a bit too sweet or do you think it's a good balance? I'd love to hear that. Um, I also don't mind that woodiness on the palette because it doesn't have those rough edges. Like it doesn't have any sandpaper vibes around it. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Slain Whiskey. Have you tried it? Have you tried any of their other releases? I think they have a batch strength and I actually think they have one that is bottled for this kind of, now I don't know exactly, so don't quote me on this, but it's like a commemorative bottle for their rock concert thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Slane. Have you been to the distillery? Should I go? Should I not go? <laughs> what do you think of the whiskey? Let me know in the comments here below. And of course, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you want to stick around for the next one. And if you've liked the video, please consider leaving a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. I've also put my affiliate links to Master Malt Whiskey Exchange and the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society here below. But yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Hope you're having a great day. Slanjava, skål!